going to party tonight? Tell the side of Bedford. My oh. wife runs one of these here caps. Does she? Wants to wrap your legs up in some of them sacks. We know it'll be nippy. Tom. Oh. Proved you aren't this fella they're looking for. Don't anybody worry, chum, I ain't. Who are you anyway? My name's Thompson. What? Thompson. No. Got something to prove it? Well, perhaps I haven't, perhaps I haven't. What's it gonna do with you anyway? Why do you take me up if you think I'm this fella Matthews? Well, if I said anything in the cap, I might have got an innocent bloke into trouble. And I wasn't sure. You wasn't? Meaning you are now? I can always change my mind. Who do you think you are running the rule over me? I ain't running the rule over you. Don't look at the fix I'm in. I'll give you a lift, and if you are this year, Matthews, I shall get into trouble. What are you going to do? Nothing. And when you get to Bedford, you'll have to explain yourself to the cops. Now, look here. Why don't you try any capers with me? I ain't so good tempered as Jock. Listen. I admit it. I'm shorty, Matthews. I'm the fellow they're looking for, but I didn't do it. Swelp me, I didn't. What? You couldn't turn me in, you couldn't. You said just now you'd never get an innocent fellow into trouble. Well, I'm innocent, see? And why are you doing the scarper? Because they'd never give me a break. I got a record, see? And, and once they caught me, well, they wouldn't even start looking for the fellow that really done it. Well, if you didn't do it, there must be some way of proving it. There isn't, I tell you, there isn't. They got me on this thing they call circumstantial evidence. You're see? only making it worse for running away. I've got to keep away from them. I might strike lucky, you never know. They, they might find the guy that really done it by accident, perhaps. You sound as if you're telling the truth. They don't cut no eyes. It ain't up to me to help you get away and lose my job. They topped me for the dead search. Look here, son, I've got a wife. I know. Skid, nearly broke me ruddy neck. Are you all right? Well, I am if this parish and wagon is. Have a look, will you, chum? Yeah, all right. She looks all right to me. Headlamp's a bit bent. How's the steering? Well, it don't seem so bad. I'll straighten her up. All right, go on. Back as you are. A bit shaky, ain't you? So would you be if you just missed copping a packet? Yeah, if they stopped you tonight. Who? Oh. The coppers. They're now flat looking for some bloke from London. I've been stopped twice. You have? Yeah. I ain't seen nobody. You will. Well, if your firm gets to Orty, I'll back you up. You was dazzled. I was what? You was dazzled by headlights. Oh, I get you. <laughs> As drivers are gonna stick together. Life's tough enough without losing your job over an accident. Sure, well, I was dazzled by headlights and. If the firm cuts up rough, I'll let you know. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, I'm Sid Parsons. Driving okay. for Noel Brothers, Lancaster. Thanks, chum. Okay, so long, good night. So long. How are you feeling, chum? Oh, it's... it's my head. 
I thought you'd pretty near bust your brains out. <laughs> Can we get up on the seat? I think so. Come on. Thanks. Uh, where, where are we? We've just come through a place called Midwell. Oh, yes. I know. How far is this cafe of yours? Oh, about, about ten miles. Oh. You've done awful bad to me. Uh, awesome. Last all right, we'll get to my place. Uh. I think I'd better get out the next place and try and get you something. 